We're back. Week three in the NFL, and what a banger it was. What a lot of upsets and surprises. I told you, this season's going to be that season in the NFL. It's going to surprise everyone. And two teams at the end, are, we don't expect, are going to be in the Super Bowl. Let's talk about each game real quick. We already talked about Thursday night. Giants taking a victory over the Browns, 21-15. Daniel Jones was on a perk this week. He did such a great job. Um, besides that beginning play, which I'll show you, um, takes it out of the end zone. But the football. It was knocked loose, and the Browns have recovered. He had a injury. He had a um, fumble on a kick return. I don't know how the hell that happens, but it's Daniel Jones. What do you expect from that low life? We got the Bears and the Colts winning. Be Colts winning over the Bears 21-16. to That game was good. Very interesting. Anthony Richardson can throw, but he is too confident in his throwing arm. He throws it too far when he doesn't need to. Texans losing to the Vikings 34-7. to Listen, when you're the Vikings and you have like Aaron Jones, Sam Darnold, and Justin Jefferson out on your offense... You're a go, especially Aaron Jones, the best running back in the league, who he we they acquired from the Packers. Um, man, cabal, man, cabal, and you're going against C.J. Stroud in the Texans. You're going against C.J. Stroud in the Texans, who just acquired Stephon Diggs from the Bills. So it's like you would think they have something, but C.J. Stroud, what an upset from you! You could do better, my guy. You can do better. Hold on. Let me see if I can use this as a stand. Oh, I can. Because I'm reading the scores off my tablet. Next, we have the Eagles and the Saints. That was a good game. I thought the Saints were going to win. Jack Derek Carr coming off of his week two-week winning streak with 40-plus game points in a game. But Saquon Barkley and Goddard just knew how to take it back. I will say, though, Dak Prescott played with integrity, played with grit. He did not give up, and he fought to the end. He did such a great job. I commend it to him. Next, we got the Chargers and the Steelers. Steelers winning 20-17. to 17, 10, 20-10. Um, what I will say is... Um, Steelers, Justin Fields, he played out. He had a great game. He played out. Um, the Chargers, um, their quarterback, Justin Herbert, went out with a foot injury. He's most likely going to be out for a little bit. Joey Bosa went out for an injury as well. But the Steelers are a team. Russell Wilson over there being the dad of football, helping Justin Fields, and I love it. The Steelers are great. And they're going to do great things. Next, the biggest upset. The Broncos winning over the Buccaneers 26-7. Baker Mayfield's a flawed. I told you, he's a flawed. He's going to upset you this year, and he already did. How are you going to let a rookie quarterback defeat your thunder and take you out in your home plate? That's like trash. That's just disgusting. That's disgusting. Baker Mayfield, you could do way better than that, but you're just like... You're non-existent at this point. You're just dead to downs. Now, the Green Bay Packers, the Titans, we won 20-14. to That was a game. It was so funny. So my friend was coming over. Well, he said he was coming over, but he had to wait for his mom to get home. So I'm just watching football in the red zone, waiting for him to come over. I hear a knock on the door. He's here. As soon as he walks through the door, my mother gets up from her nap because I'm like, Mother, my friend's here. She comes in the living room. She gets up from her nap. My friend's walking through the door. And all you hear me is screaming, touchdown. I wish I had it on video. It was the funniest thing you will see. I'm just screaming, touchdown. And I'm running around my house. And my mother's like, yeah, he takes it seriously. And my friend was like, yeah, he told me. And I heard, And then the other team got a... And then basically, they're all talking. And I'm like, wait. And the screen is showing my game. And the Titans... He had a touchdown. I threw the TV remote, and now I lost the TV remote, and I can't find the TV remote. Because every time I watch football out here, I'm always losing the damn TV remote, and I can't believe this. 
Uh-oh. I can't believe it. But Packers, Malik Willis, he has an arm. He has the legs. He could run it. He could throw it. He's ambidextrous. He could do everything. Watson with the nice touchdown. Reed, Wicks, Emmanuel Wilson. Xavier McKinney with the nice interception. He's three for three. Three interceptions in three games as a starting Packer. Josh Jacobs had a slower game, but he's going to come back next week against the Vikings. I know it. Rashid Walker. Gary. Rashid Gary. Quay Walker. Jair Alexander, best cornerback in the league with the interception. Man is unstoppable. Man's unstoppable. Great game on the Packers. Malik showing out. Jordan Love was supposed to play, but he was ruled out last minute. And hopefully he's back next week from the um from the um injury to play against the Vikings. We're gonna need him against the Vikings. When you're going up against Sam Darnold, like I said, Sam Darnold, Justin Jefferson, um, and Aaron Jones going up against his former team. It's going to take a lot. 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 But I know they're going to do well. They're going to do well. The Ran- the Panthers taking on the Raiders, 36-22. to Andy Dalton's that guy. I'm sorry. I love Bryce Young, sweet guy. But Andy Dalton's that guy. Have you guys not seen him in his run with the um the Bengals? Before Joe Burrow came to town. It was amazing. Adam Thielen gets the touchdown. Goes out with the injury on the touchdown. That game was everything. That game just shows that changing one thing on your team. Alters the whole chemistry. And it was a great game. The Raiders are the Raiders. They need to step it up. And you would think getting rid of Derek Carr. Would do something. They actually put in Aiden O'Connell. Which he actually did better than Gardner Minshew. So I think next week Aiden might be the starter. And Gardner might be benched, but we'll have to see. Um, the Lions winning against the Cardinals 20-13. to um, That was a game and a half. That was a big game and a half. I thought um, Kyle Murray was going to have another win, but I guess not. But um, Jared Goff came to town. The NFL Ryan Gosling he came to town and slung it down for a win. That was that game was a slow game, but it was good. Also, my friend, he said that the Thursday night game, the Jets and the Packers, I mean the Jet, the Jets and the Patriots, he said that game was so boring he fell asleep. I wanted to hit him. That game, when you're watching a game with Aaron Rodgers, there's nothing boring about it. When you're watching a game and Aaron Rodgers is slinging dimes on that perk, there is nothing boring about the game. So I don't know what he's yapping about. And then we got the other game that just ended like five minutes ago. The Ravens and the Cowboys. And I do got to say, Dak Prescott the past two games throwing to his friendly ghost friends and getting those flashbacks from the Packers preseason game last year, but the playoff game, I mean. But Dak Prescott was really well this game. Besides all the missed throws, he played to the end. He fought and... They got the touchdown, making it 25-28 with the field goal. They onside kicked it, got it most of the time. They fought to the end. It was actually so funny because my friend was messaging me. And I'm like watching it on the red zone and they're changing between each game. And I'm like watching the 49ers and the Rams, the Ravens and the Cowboys are going, and then the Lions and the Cardinals are going. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, how the hell? But Cowboys did really well. There wasn't a shutout. They did really well, fought to the end, and that's what matters. Ravens, Lamar Jackson coming off of that two-game lose streak. Um, Definitely a game to remember. And Cowboys going on to a short week, Thursday night football against the Giants. If they don't win that game, I don't know what to tell the Dak. But Daniel Jones, he's going to live it. He won this game this week. First win in a while. He's going to live it off. But... If Dak Prescott does not win against the Giants, I lost hope for the trashy cow, the Cowgirls. Um, the next game, the 49ers and the Rams. 49ers lost 24-7-27. I'm watching that game and I'm like, 49ers, please lose. And they lost. No Christian McCaffrey, no George Kittle. No Debo Samuel. Only Brandon Ayuk and Juwan Jennings. 
Brock Purdy is trash. Brock Purdy is a human trash. Like, there are better quarterbacks than you in the NFL who do not need their main guys to lead. Brock Purdy's trash. I hate him. He's trash. Listen. Yes, I get it. The 49ers didn't have any of their guys like I just said, but the Rams had no star wide receiver Puka Nakua or Christian Coop. Christian Cup, who are both out with injuries for the next few weeks. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah. But that game, 49ers lost. Um, I don't think the 49ers will make it to a playoff this year. If the 49ers don't make it to the playoff, the Packers have a chance. If you know the Packers curse, you know. We play the 49ers every year in the playoffs. We lose. If the 49ers don't make it, the Cowboys and the Packers have a chance. But Aaron Rodgers is back in town, so he's going to definitely try something. Now, there's three more games. We have the Chiefs and the Falcons, which I'm about to watch. I have the TV on and ready to go for that. I'm going for the Falcons. Kirk Cousin won against the Saquon and the Eagles last week. That was a great game. That was a great game. Kirk Cousins is back to himself. He's getting there. I'm going to go with the Falcons. Unless the refs help the Chiefs, which I think the Chiefs, the refs help the Chiefs so much, I don't even know what more they could do to help them. I think the Chiefs, the Chiefs had help from the referees so much. I don't know what else the refs could possibly do to help the Chiefs. Travis Kelsey, he's not playing like himself. He is not playing like himself. He's trash. He even said it. He's slowing down. Going against Kyle Pitts, Drake London. Mooney. And then tomorrow night, Monday Night Football, we got two games being played. We have the Jaguars taking on the Bills on ESPN. And then ABC, the Commanders and Bengals, which I'm going to be watching the Commanders and Bengals. Going with, I'm going to go with the Bengals. Unless Jaden Daniels could pull off something with the um, Commanders, I don't know. I'm going with Joe Burrow. Remember, the Bengals lose two games every season. The first two games of every season, they lose, and then they come back on this winning streak. So I'm going with the Bengals. And for the Jaguars and Bills, I'm going to go with the Bills. Trevor Lawrence, he just has, he's 0-2 right now. The Bills are 2-0. The Commanders are 1-1, and and the Bengals are 0-2. I think the Jaguars, Trevor Lawrence got that contract. He needs to prove he's in it to win it. Um, The Bills, they prove it. Josh Allen can run. That's all he's good for is running. And yeah, but a good week so far. Another week. Definitely last week was still my favorite week, but it was a week to remember here in the NFL and it's still getting kicked off. I'll have a, I'll be back um later when the Monday night and the Sunday night games end. I'll be back with a little recap. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Back with your reaction to the last few games of the week. Um, is my tablet dead? Yes, my tablet is dead. <sighs> this is my life, where everything just fucking dies on me. Um, so we had the Sunday night game, which I don't think I made a video on yet. I actually don't. The Sunday night game against the um, the Falcons and the Chiefs. The Chiefs got dick rided again by the referees. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. These damn Chiefs just keep getting away with so much. And it's because the Super they want to see them in a Super Bowl because the Chiefs are probably making the NFL the most money right now. Wouldn't doubt it. But Kirk Cousins had a hell of a fight. Great game. Him and Marvin Harrison Jr. and all the guys down there with the Eagles. Y'all are the stuff. Y'all are going to do really well this season. I was watching that game for a little bit. And then the Monday night game. So I told you guys I was going to watch the Monday night game. The Bengals picking on the Commanders. Could not watch it. Can't say why. But stuff happened that day. It was It's good stuff, I could say. I can't tell you. But it's good stuff that happened. And, um... Yeah, so... Stuff happened, and I actually was not able to watch the game. 
good stuff. Wasn't able to watch the game. But I saw the highlights. The Jacksonville Jaguars count your days. You're up there, Trevor Lawrence. You get a $55 million contract. You, Dak Prescott, Daniel Jones. Who else? What's another quarterback? Derek Carr. Not Derek Carr. Gardner Minshaw, um, Joe Burrow, Will Levis, a lot of dudes, a lot of dudes, Bo Nix, the Buccaneers quarterback, Baker Mayfield, count your days. You are the team, besides like the Giants and stuff, besides the Giants, you guys are the teams that are supposed to win. The Bengals are... Zero to three right now. Zero wins, three losses. How do the Buccaneers lose to the Broncos who have a rookie quarterback while you're out here with Baker Mayfield? How do the Jaguars, how does Trevor Lawrence lose to, I mean, it's Josh Allen. Josh Allen has no Stephon Diggs to throw to. He's learning a whole new wide receiving corp and... Trevor Lawrence throws it out the gutter. How the hell are the Giant Browns going to let the damn Giants win? You guys got that interception on that field goal. That should have been everything. That should have been the sign you're winning the game, but you guys fucking threw it off. Cowboys fans, count your fucking days. You guys are not good. You guys are not good. Count your fucking days. You guys are trash. When you guys are losing to the Ravens and Lamar Jackson, it's just cooked. You're cooked. You're cooked. You're cooked. You're cooked. But Jaden Daniels and their wide receiver, I forgot his name, had a fucking day. Jaden Daniels getting the Redskins, Daniel Quinn, getting his team back on track. They, the commanders could be a reckon, team to reckon with. They could be a team to reckon with. I got to say that. The Bills, I don't care about the Bills. I really could care less about the Bills. But let's get these scores going. I got to pull them up on my tablet. Apparently, my laptop was dead. Apparently, my laptop's dead. My tablet's dead. But it says it's at 100%. Make this shit make sense. Oh, no. It's, it said it's at 100 Cause your iPad ain't connected to the internet. Yes, it is. How are you gonna tell me? The Commanders won thirty-eight to thirty-eight to thirty-three, and the Bills won forty-seven to ten. Trevor Lawrence, count your days. Might as well put in the backup. At all I care. But um, yeah, that's week three in the NFL. Week four gets kind of crazier. We start out with Thursday night football tomorrow, the Cowboys and the Giants. I was supposed to have this YouTube video out Tuesday. It's Wednesday. Week four about to start tomorrow. But stuff's been happening and I couldn't and I'm trying to figure everything out and trying to figure out me, but it's good. I got to get these videos out. Um, Andy Dalton playing his revenge game against the Bengals this week. That's going to be a good one. The Green Bay Packers take on the Vikings. That's a good game. The Chiefs are winning against the Chargers, no doubt. Not just because of the referees. Because Joe Burrow's out. Their left tackle they just picked up. Joe Alt is out. The 49ers are taking on the Patriots. Now, if the Patriots lose to that... The 49ers don't have McCaffrey. They don't have Kittle. They don't have um, Debo. They're chilling. They're chilling. The Seahawks are taking on the Lions Monday night. So, I'll be watching that game definitely. Um, the Packers take on the Vikings. Aaron Jones playing his revenge game against Green Bay. The Jets taking on the Broncos. Um, and yeah... Where are the Jets? The Jets are playing. 
The now, I don't think the NFL put out the coverage map yet. It basically shows where you live, and then it shows like what games are available near you. Yeah, I don't think they put out week four yet. Hold on, let me see. NFL. NFL. Yo, this thing wants to work. NFL. Week four. They did not post the map yet. They did not post the map. I don't think I'm going to be able to watch Green Bay. I was going to say we could watch the Green Bay game, but I don't think I'll be able to watch it because they got the Broncos taking on the Jets early with Green Bay. So it's like, ugh. But yeah. But anyway, that's it for the video. Week three is over and what a week it was. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.